Hello, my name is Jason Melman. I'm the Director of SEO and Analytics for Inceive Interactive. I just wanted to take a minute to give a very brief overview on the Query Optimization Checker and explain some of the different use cases, kind of show you how quickly it is to really find opportunities for your website. When looking at this, I'm not gonna go into too much detail right now. I just wanna point out a few quick things. The rest of this will be gone over in detail within the blog post. So again, not gonna spend too much time on it at the moment. I did wanna point out when we actually look at my Google Drive right now, we do see the query optimization checker. That's what we were just in. You see a folder for API and you see an archive. That's all it's in here right now. Just wanna make that apparent because you'll see that change very quickly and automatically. I've already went ahead and filled out some of these input variables. I will explain what we're trying to do here, why we're doing things a certain way in a moment. Um, the only other thing that's important to point out is that we're currently extracting the title. With that, I did want to get this going. All of those variables will be explained within the blog post itself. I just want to show you how quickly this could all be done. So we come down here, we already see the process and I just hit runtime, run all. The process is already actually extracting the data from the Google Search Console database or API, sorry about that. Um, while that's actually going, a few quick things to point out. We now have this folder, which this is why I was trying to make this apparent at the beginning, was not there at the start. The tool just created this. It also created this query optimization file. You do see that there is the date of today appended to the end. Uh, looking at my date, it is the 20th, so I think that's just something might be um, where the where Google's actually based or where the the collab file is actually based from the server standpoint. We also see this raw data archive that shouldn't have anything in it yet. It will soon. Uh, that is going to be where the raw data gets put into once the data set is done aggregating from the Google Search Console API. The only other things I want to point out while this process is running, and it kind of says it right here, this answers this helps you answer the question of what queries are driving clicks and impressions, but are not in some page section, whatever that page section is. That might be a title tag like we're doing right now. That might be an H1 tag. It could be something as specific as the first P block of a blog post. It could be something as specific as uh, image alt tags for only images that are in the main content of the page. Main content being the actual body of either a blog post, a category page, a product page, and not any secondary content like the, the main navigation, the footer navigation, anything that's not a core part of the page. So you could get very, very specific with it. Of course, what we're doing right now is very broad. We're just looking at uh, you know title optimization when it comes down to it. The data set's done pulling, so it should already have shown up right here. We do see the raw data is now in there. It will always be there. You have the date range, you know it's page query data. So you could always relate back to that. You could use it for other purposes. You go into the query optimization checker and it actually looks like the whole process is already done. Um, so in that time, in the, the time that just went by, we looked at 40 different pages. We ran a crawl against all those 40 pages to pull out the title tag and we compared the queries to that title tag. And I'll show that to you right now to kind of finish up this video. Again, not gonna go through all these different steps within the blog post itself. It will go into various items. Like it'll go into what my recommended approach is for building some of these data sets. Like how will I actually utilize this for something like title optimization. But if we just look at this and I'm gonna just pivot this really quickly. If my hotkey will work. There we go. And if we just go page, uh, the crawl itself, the query, uh, this is the data set ID. So that's nice to have. And let's put some KPIs in there real quick. So we're actually looking at this. Um, and if we close this, I'm gonna do a few last things to this. I'm gonna make this so it does not change the column size when I make edits. I also want this to be an average, this to be a max, this to be a min, and this to be an average as well. Um, 
instances and range, impressions, sum, clicks, sum, uh, position, max, position, min, and position, mean. So that's our data set. Uh, we could go into here and we could probably do a little bit of sorting really quick. We could look at this, we could go in, we could see here's our title tag. These are all the keywords that are actually within that title tag. These are all the ones that weren't. These are all the ones that potentially are opportunities. It's either something that could be added into the title if we think it's an opportunity, or maybe it's a new page opportunity. For the sake of this, we're obviously looking at titles. Um, and you know, really quickly here, it does look like company would be an opportunity. Putting company into that title tag could be an opportunity there. So it might just come into here really quickly to re-optimize this title, say that page. This, and if we want to add company into there, because it doesn't look like company is currently in the title tag itself, we could just you know, look at this, let's say page, current title, new title, and reasoning. So maybe if we take this PPC consultant, paper click management, let's do company and services. Let's shorten this to just and see so that the title isn't too long. I'm not, I don't personally think truncation is a huge deal. This probably will truncate with the, the brand name um, to each their own. People might have different opinions on that. And if we look at the reasoning, it is to add company variant. And there we go. We re-optimize this title um, and we can do that same exact process for these other pages. We just did this for 40 pages, but we could do it for however many we want. It's still very, very fast to do this on 100 pages, 200, 300. Uh, really, are you gonna optimize 400 titles at one time? I do think 40 might be a reasonable number, but you could do that much, much more quickly, find really good low hanging fruit opportunities. And again, this is not just for title tags. It could be any part of the page you're really looking for as specific as you really wanna make it. Hopefully this all makes sense. I know this was a lot. We will be going through the entire process, how to set it all up, how to utilize the data set and some uh, recommended examples and how I personally utilize this tool myself. Thanks for your time.